The buzz is building from the sports crazed town of Boston. The Mavericks taking on the Celtics. For the Dallas Mavericks, a look at those standings. They're presently seven games back in the conference. It's all about playoff positioning. Celtics Mavs is next, and we'll be right back. On top, city on lock, they like when he gon' drop. We ain't had enough. Speaking down, but they know who coming up, and I'm still on my way. But the top don't look too far for me. Never caught off, not one too far for me. Never caught off, not one day. Oh, but I'm still on my way. 2K Sports presents Thursday night of the NBA. I'm Kevin Harlan alongside Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. From the sideline, our Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. Taking a look here at some of the numbers for Luka Doncic. And looking at his splits, you can see he's taken more of a backseat in their offense in these last 10 games. His usage rate is down, but that's natural. At some point during the season, Every player goes through a period of fatigue. Now, we'll look at Dallas's starting lineup. The star backcourt of Doncic and Irving are out there. Washington out there with Jones, and it's Gafford in at the five. And for Boston, the wing pairing, it's White and Brown. Porzingis is out there with Tatum, and it's Holiday in at point guard. And as the season draws to a close, GA, we've got teams buying for playoff position. Only adding to the importance of each game now. And for those teams, you have to have the right mentality. You can't treat these like normal regular season games. These are an extension of the playoffs. It'll be the Celtics off the tip. Here's Tatum. Holiday, a screen on Washington. Tatum, that's for two. Nice jump shot from the top of the key. His teammates Tatum creates just enough daylight to get off a shot. Holiday against Doncic. For the screen on Holiday, Doncic passes to Gaffer, and Gaffer throws it down. Doncic knows he's the focal point of the defense, so really good to see him find the open man. White against Irving. White the pass to Persingas. Takes a three. And it's Brown missing. Irving against White. Irving attacking. And there it is for him. Knifing through the defense like warm butter on the biscuit. Irving knows how to get to the rim. Doncic against Holiday. Outside, White. Pass to Persingas. Persingas is double. Brown against Jones. Brown the pass to Persingas. Out to White. A three. Hits it from three-point range. Well, White is a capable three-point shooter now, and he does not need a lot of space or time to get off his shot. Passes it to Doncic. And Doncic throws it down. Taking matters into his own hands. Yeah, we didn't expect to see that kind of finish. And you know, guys, when your point guard is making explosive plays at the rim, I really do think it sets the tone for the rest of the team. Snatched away. Jones in the post. He's covered by Brown. Irving kicks to Gafford. Pass to Doncic. Gafford sets the pick for Doncic. Clock at four. Gafford misses. That's the first miss for this offense. They've hit three or four to start. What a special opportunity Dallas has with a generational talent, Clark, like Doncic. Yeah, I agree with you there. I mean, he's special. And I think the Mavs need to do something with his presence in terms of building a competitive team around him because Doncic expects to be in the playoffs every season. Here's Doncic. Jason Tatum picking up that last basket. Holiday with the defensive effort. 
And here's Holiday who will bring it up for the Celtics. They defeated Indiana in their last game. Yeah, and with most of the arena against them, they just banded together and trusted one another to make the right play. Well, you know, the cohesiveness was evident out there. These guys feel like they can win in any arena. And they proved it that game. And it's the Mavericks with the ball. Jason Tatum picking up that last basket. And not allowing the shooter even an inch of breathing room on that one. And, guys, that's exactly the kind of high-impact defense they want to see out of him. Now here's Porzingis. Nothing on the board. White finds Brown. Now Tatum launches a three. It's rebounded by Doncic. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. Here's Irving. Turned in an outstanding game against Minnesota. On the wing, Doncic. Light covering. Oh, and he almost had a four-point play right there. He'll go to the line with a chance for three. You know, what separates Doncic from most players, he's really calm under pressure. Great poise. You can't speed him up. He plays at his own pace. And what a treat for the fans and for us to be able to witness a talent like Luka Doncic. Amen and amen to that, Kevin. A generational talent. All eyes are on him when he's on the floor. Hard not to keep your eyes on him. He's so special in everything that he does. And every night he performs, walk away just shaking your head at how good he is. You cannot let Tatum roll to the bucket. When he's got a head of steam, he's going to finish with power. Jinch passes to Gafford. Kicks to Irving. Gafford sets the pick for Irving. Now the pass to Washington. Dallas needs to get off a shot. Over Tatum. The rebound by Holiday. The defense made an impact right there. Definitely got him uncomfortable going up with him. Tatum on the wing. Covered by Gafford. Ball movement by Boston. Tatum no good. The Mavericks have gone 3 of 7 from the field since we've gotten underway. Holiday against Irving. Pass to Gaffer. Out to Doncic. Let's it go with a 3. A 3-pointer is right on target. Doncic has got 8 points. And we've seen several lead changes tonight. Neither team giving an inch. Yeah, and the lead has changed hands, and it just hasn't stayed in those hands very long when it's changed. Back and forth we go. He is getting it done on the offensive end. Five buckets through seven shots. Doncic outside. Irving against White. Gafford sets the pick for Irving. Solid as a rock from 20 feet away. It sure was textbook, and Irving is fantastic in the screen roll. A solid decision maker in these sets, and he also can put it in the basket himself if he needs to. There's Brown with the three, and the Celtics hit again from deep. Hit works well there. Not much resistance from the deep. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. You've got to be tougher defensively. And Doncic, here we go. Good on the shot. Ten points for him. You know, so far, he's been dominant this period, making the most of his opportunities. The three from Tatum. That one is good again. He sits right from the floor with the basket. The defense a step slow. You can see the results. That's three in a row from out there now, so they've got to do a better job contesting. Now, here's Irving, one of the most consistent producers in the league. He's averaging around 25 and a half points a game. Jones, no one around him. Trying to come right back with the three of his own. It's no good. And here is Tatum. 14 points for him. He feeds it to Brown. Back to Tatum. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. It's on Luka Doncic. You really like your chances with Tatum at the line. He locks in and focuses on these two. Austin shooting their first free throws of the night. And they've shot the ball well this season in, in terms of their attempts. 
One of the things they've done, guys, is taken pride in their free throw shooting this season, and rightfully so. No doubt, Greg, Jason Tatum is an all-NBA player, and this guy continues to improve. And JT's scoring average increasing in each of his first five seasons. I just love how he gets to the line more, being more aggressive. Tatum was the guy on the finals team at just 24 years old. Doncic, no good. Celtics leading by five. Great, their offensive approach has been rock solid here. And they're finding the weak spots in the D and attacking them. And so it's Doncic with it. He brings it up for the Mavericks. Hardaway against Brown. Hardaway passes to Lively. And it's good assisting on the play with Hardaway. Well, you know, guys, we know Hardaway can score, but when he makes these passes, it makes him a lot more dangerous. And here's Tatum for three. Count that as his seventh field goal, nine tries. He's shooting 78%. Seven for nine here in the first quarter. He's on fire. This is it to Lively. He dishes it to Doncic. Fires for three. And Tatum pulls it down. So it's the Celtics now. Six-point lead. The last meeting was in this building where they were able to come out on top. And in the last face-off against these guys, they enjoyed a huge advantage in free throw percent. Yeah, it was really simple. I mean, you look at the numbers, they did a better job of knocking down the free throws. And Doncic, here we go. It's tipped. The shooting numbers just aren't there yet in the quarter. Pass to Horford. Now Tatum. There's the triple. And the Celtics hit again from deep. When you find yourself up double digits in the first quarter, you know you're doing something right. Well, they're doing everything right. How about that? I mean, this could turn into a blowout very quickly. Now, here's Doncic. He had a big outing in that Timberwolves game as well. I tell you what, guys, there's not much more he can do. I mean, he's been on fire, yet they still trail in this game. Tatum against Green. Tatum passes to Pritchard. 44 seconds left in the first quarter. Here's the three. Buries it from three-point range. And the Celtics lead by 12. And they're getting their points now almost exclusively from the triple. Four of their last five makes are from beyond the arc. It's hard for me to watch this. I mean, the defense practically giving them those shots. The real come at us, and we're coming right back at you. A little back and forth from long range. I love it. That's a terrific answer there. Now, here's Brown. 29 points for him last game against the Pacers in Indianapolis. There's the feed to Tatum. And he banks in the lane. Tatum's got 25 points in the game. I like their focus coming in. Terrific execution so far. And you know, it's an all-out effort they've come in with. Very aggressive offense so far. What a performance for Jason Tatum. He has been the story so far for the Boston Celtics. Going on an absolute rampage, piling in the points. He dictated the pace of the entire quarter. We'll take a quick break and then back to the action here. And so far through one quarter, it's been a lopsided game. We'll see if that changes here in the second. And a chance for just a second to check out the scoring breakdown for Boston. Uh, they've looked to fire as much as possible from outside the arc, and so far, they are hitting at a high clip. Cultivating a lot of assists right now, which is beautiful to see. Love the way they're working that ball around. On the court for Dallas here in the second, they've got Kyrie Irving. Green is out there with Maxi Kleba. Then there's Tim Hardaway Jr. And it's Lively in at the five. 
And Greg, the way the Celtics have approached this season in terms of intensity, I think they clearly feel, though, they have unfinished business. Well, they've been so close to a title for a number of years. They've even been title favorites at times. It's part of the maturation process, as excruciating as it may be. He makes another one. That's four up and four in to start his game. Hey, the skills of Kyrie are obvious, but what isn't so obvious is his underestimated strength. Here's the pass to McKaylee. Back to Tatum. Tatum draws the double. Here's McKaylee. A three off the mark. Mavericks trail by six. Green with the ball. Still yet to score. And the fouls on McKaylee. That's his first foul. I mean, I like the call. I thought the defense was just there a little late. Yeah, it looked like it. I mean, he kind of slid underneath as he got to the spot, too. The Celtics making a switch here. Hauser's checked in. Kleba against Horford. Dallas moving the ball around. Back to Green. Just five on the clock. Got a piece of it. He's all alone. A floater. Oh, that's blocked. Hard away against Tatum. Now here is Hardaway. He's tightly guarded. And a wide open hook for Irving. Good, and the assist goes to Hardaway. Hardaway has got three assists tonight. That's the decisiveness we talk about with Irving. He's quick and right at it. Here's Pritchard. He's covered by Irving. They recover it. Hauser. Busted. No good that time either. And here are the Mavericks now. They've got an 8 nothing run. Hardaway kicks to Kleba. Back to Hardaway. Outside, Green. Irving surveying the floor. Clock is at three. Jacks up a three. No good from Irving. Not quite enough defense. That time around, just lucky he was off. Tatum passes to Tillman. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. And you think of height as an advantage in basketball, but, Greg, the versatility is such a premium. Can you be too tall in today's NBA? It's a valid question. The, the two biggest concerns for seven-footers are mobility and durability. To move the way they need to puts a lot of strain on those lower extremities. The first one falls. In the 2016 and 17 drafts, GA Boston ended up with the third pick overall both of those years. And they nailed those picks, getting Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum back to back, setting up their franchise for years. And he can't hit the second. Greg, what a remarkable run from the Dallas Mavericks in that 2010-11 NBA season. And some say it's the toughest title any team has ever won. When you consider the juggernauts they took out, including the big three of the Miami Heat in the NBA Finals. The kick out to Tatum. Tatum draws the double. On the way against Holiday. Gets the three-pointer to fall. And the Celtics lead by seven. With deep range and a wide arsenal of moves, Holiday keeps defenders off balance. Unloads from 13. A putback. Out to Hardaway. There's the three. Hangs on the trifecta. And they're shooting really well from long range this quarter. They should keep looking to the three-point shot for some extra offense. Outside Holiday from the arc. Kleba with the rebound. 
Average trail by four. Green passes to Irving. Takes the three. Another three for Dallas. Tonight has been all about Irving. When he's clicking, his offensive game is devastating. Richard passes to Tatum. And here's Przingis for a three. Good, and it's Tatum picking up the assist. And an eye for an eye. Both teams working to stretch the floor. Nothing like answering back. One team gets three, you fire three of your own. Boom. Holiday against Hardaway. Outside Irving. It falls for his seventh bucket of the contest. He's seven for nine. Great quarter for him at the offensive end, trying to will his team back in the game. Porzingis with a screen on Hardaway. Holiday gets the bucket. Some nasty handles from Holiday, leaving the defense shaking its head and all. Hardaway against Holiday. Hardaway is screen on Tatum. Here's Irving. That misses off the backboard. Now you can't look at the result of that shot. They'll take that whenever they get it. Well, you know, I hear you. That's a good look, but when you're that wide open, I think you got to knock it down. Porzingis can't hit. Well, you've got to be there defensively. I mean, that's an easy mid-range jumper that he'll typically drain. And now we've got some time to check in from the sidelines. You got for us, D.A.? Thank you, Kevin. We all know Luka Doncic is a master of one-on-one -on -one isolation scoring. Coach Jason time out, time Kidd out. said he knows how to use his body, the angles. Sometimes as a coach, you want to run all these plays, but at the end of the day, it's about getting him the ball with enough time to be creative. Kevin? That's right, David. Letting him cook. Thanks for the report. So the Celtics called timeout. They're first. Start of the playoffs. Let's see how the East is stacking up. You look at Boston. What a run they've had this year in first place and charging seemingly at will toward the postseason. These guys have been outstanding. And you know, for Boston, their fans had high hopes for them this season, and they have not let them down. It's been a fantastic campaign thus far, and they really are set up perfectly for a deep run in the playoffs. It's obvious their eyes have been squarely on the postseason for a while. It'll be fascinating to see if the regular season dominance carries over. Holiday finds Brown. Again, the miss by the Celtics. And even with good coverage defensively that time, he has confidence to drill the three. Jones looking for an opening. Trip to the free throw line for him in this one. And so far this season, it's it's been average at best at the line. Only 71% as a shooter. You know, guys, that's not quite the same success rate he had at the line last year. Um, although it is somewhat in the neighborhood of last year's numbers. Drops. He ties it up. Austin's gotten cold from deep in the second quarter. Just two of six from long range. White inside, covered by Irving. Horford from outside. Mavericks with the rebound. Irving passes to Washington. He's now one for two with that button. 
Boy, lock into that focus from Washington there. Love the body control, too. Excellent. In terms of finishing ability, it, it's hard to think of someone who tops Kyrie Irving. Greg, the list is short, particularly when you talk about guys of his size, okay? His bag of tricks is limitless when you talk about finishing in close quarters against bigger guys. There are a few that are in his class in that regard. And you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. Brown outside. Berzingis gets to Holland. Feeds it to Horford. Brown outside. Celtics passing it around. Shot clock at six. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. And when we talk about the league's elite defenders, Drew Holiday is certainly up there. Yeah, that's for sure, Greg. I mean, I think it's a lot to do with how much pride he takes in playing defense. I mean, he's locked into shutting down whoever he's defending. He looks at it as a challenge, and I really appreciate and respect his hard-nosed approach. The first free throw is good. Holiday really is a soft-spoken guy on and off the court. Leads by example. Is extremely reliable and talented. And his teammates have great respect for him because of it. All three throws good from Drew Holiday. And so Doncic will bring it up for the Dallas Mavericks. Pass to Washington. White against Irving. Washington sets the pick for Irving. And Gafford throws it down. Good to see a player going all out when the game's this tight. You know, G.A., he knows what his job is. Patrol the offensive glass. You know, that time I thought he did it with authority. Tremendous putback at a time when they really need it. And they haven't been able to turn it into a big lead, but their rebound and advantage is starting to add up. Yeah, still close, but with their tough play on the boards, we're certainly seeing the effort. It almost feels like two buckets coming off the steal like it did. On the wing, Irving. From 13, the shot, no good. White with the defensive effort. Holiday looking over the floor. Brown the pass to White. Outside Holiday. And that won't go, missing the go ahead bucket. Dallas has gone 7 15 from three point range tonight. They're not afraid of that shot. Passes to Gaffer. And here is Doncic. And again, Dallas turns it over. And now let's take a moment to check out the stats for White. He showed up every night and some noteworthy performances over the last month. He's averaging 15 points a game, five assists, and four rebounds. The, the real story, though, is how big of an impact he makes on the defensive end. Absolutely. I mean, he's a lockdown guy for him, both on the ball and when helping out. So they take the lead. And now a three-point Celtic lead. And I like the fact that he really was unfazed by that scoreless first quarter. And now you can see him getting into a rhythm. Here's Dodgers. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. And the Mavs consult Luka before any major move now. Rare for a player so young to have that much say. Yeah, you know, I don't know how much I agree with that, but given Luka's stardom and in the day and age we're in, he is Dallas going forward. And to some degree, I think perhaps he has earned the right to have a say in who he's going to team up with. Luka Doncic is a do-it-all player. I mean, he does everything for this team, including being a walking triple-double threat on a game-by-game -game basis. White against Irving, and White kicks to Horford. Here's Persingas. The shot's good on the assist by Horford. Eight points for Persingas. Horford, clearly one of the better passing bigs in the league, adds a nice wrinkle to his team's offense. Holiday against Doncic. Launches it from deep. Oh, Doncic, long range! 
Coming off a big game, his confidence couldn't be higher, and Coach knows it. Showing no signs of slowing or cooling down. They're going to ride him as far as he can take him. Here's Brown, and there are the Celtics with another basket. And some question Brown's jumper coming into the league. Now no one is because of shots like that. And some good action through the first two quarters as we reach halftime. It's the Celtics. All right, Dave, thank you. And time now for the halftime break with the third quarter soon to follow right here on 2K Sports. Ernie Johnson here with Kenny the Jet and the Big Diesel, Shaquille O'Neal. How about we start out with the Western Conference and uh, how those teams are stacking up? You know, for Dallas, they've come up a little short of expectation. The talent is unquestioned, but their focus has been wavered. The consistency just hasn't been there. That said, I sure what. Moving on, the Mavs find themselves in a battle. Close matchup so far. Their defense is about as soft as hush puppies. Give me. And that concludes halftime. Now time to send it over to Kevin Harlan as the game's about to resume. And as we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard yet. And you know, guys, Jason Tatum has really been making it happen. And how about the amount he's contributing in the scoring column through two quarters? He has been terrific. And you know what? They've come at him a few different ways defensively, and nothing has slowed him down. We've got second half action for you, and if the next couple quarters are similar to the first, this one could go down to the last possession. The wing pairing, it's White and Brown. Made him out there with Porzingis, and it's Holiday in at the point. And that's the group for Joe Mazzula as we begin the second half. Nice tip in there. I mean, he's got like a sixth sense in terms of where the miss is going to go. That is really a tap. Holiday dishes to Tatum. Holiday against Doncic. Brown kicks to Holiday. Pass to Tatum. The Celtics need to get a shot off. Brown wide open. He fires. And the three off target. And so Doncic will bring it up for the Dallas Mavericks. For the lead, back to Irving. Fires the three. The shot's good on the assist by Doncic. Doncic has got three assists now in this one. Celtics trail by three. Tatum looking around. Down low. The kick out to Brown. Celtics passing it around. Here's Persingas. It's rebounded by Doncic. Doncic has got six rebounds here tonight. And there's the pass to Jones. On its way from Irving for two. And it's Dallas with another. Boy, he's cooking with grease. He's got things flaming up, looking for an opportunity every time down the floor when he's that hot. Round against Jones. Holiday, no one around him. Connects from three-point range. Holiday's got 12. The playmaking of Brown continuing to evolve. Nice dime there. Holiday against Doncic. Over Holiday. Ah, uh, Doncic very comfortable down low. Oh, wow. Four or five to start the half. Coming out on fire. Holiday against Doncic. Tatum draws the double. There's Brown with the three. Good on the triple. Eight points for him. And, you know, we've seen Brown accept more responsibility over time on offense, including taking these quick shots. Here's Irving. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. That one on White. 
And Clark, here we are watching Kyrie Irving when he's on. It is amazing to watch. Remarkably smooth as an athlete, Kevin, and otherworldly when you look at his skills as a basketball player, particularly ball handling and shot making. Talking pure basketball, he's one of the most entertaining players of the last 30 years for sure. And he knocks down the first one. Kyrie Irving, special. I mean, as skilled a player as you'll ever see when it comes to handling the ball and scoring in close. Both free throws, good from Kyrie Irving. And that's the norm for him. He's pretty much automatic when he's at the line. Outside, Brzingis. Tatum wide open, he fires one. And again, Boston with the triple. Really smooth release from Tatum on that three. Makes that shot look effortless. The Mavericks have gotten four of their first five second half shots to fall. 80% since the break. The three for Doncic. Rebound Boston. Tatum's got rebound number five here tonight. He kicks it to Brown. Third quarter action in just under three and a half minutes of gone. And here's Tatum for three. Rebounded by Gafford. Gafford's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Here's Irving. Good. And the assist goes to Doncic. Doncic has got his fourth assist in this one. They're doing a really good job of getting the ball inside and attacking the paint. That's an area they have completely dominated. Well, once they recognized the advantage they had inside, it made a lot of sense just to continue to attack that area. That's a dozen straight points coming off the triple. You know, they're having free reign from beyond the arc. The defense is just not there. Produced green on Helvin. Here's Doncic. Lays it up off the glass. Doncic has got 24 points. And defensively, guys, they've been unable to shut down the middle. Yeah, and they're really getting pummeled on points in the paint here. Brown the pass to Tatum. Fires the three. And the Celtics hit again from deep. What an exhibition he's putting on today. This is about as hot as you can get. And here's Doncic from the arc. And Boston with the rebound. And I wouldn't put it past them guys to eventually start hitting those, given what he did in the first half. Tatum against Gafford. Tatum passes to Persingas. And here we go. The Mavericks in a fast break. Washington, that's good. Washington's got the game tied up here for the man. Attacking in transition, the most consistent way to generate easy looks. Yep, exactly. And if there's any opportunity for early offense, you've got to push it and push it every time. The three from Tatum. Take that! <laughs> Tatum from the parking lot. Out of their last five makes, how about all five from long range? Well, the defense just hasn't pressed up to deny any of those looks, guys. I mean, they're hanging back and getting picked apart. Irving's shot is good. And that's 31 points for Kyrie Irving. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Yeah, and that's four straight field goals now they've allowed from point blank range. Can't happen. And there's the bucket from Tatum. Tatum clearly putting on a show in this one, doing it all. Holiday against Doncic. And Doncic with the triple. There you go. That's the stroke we saw in the first half. And here's Tatum. He'll bring it up for Boston. And let's head over to the sideline and catch up with David Alder. Thank you, Kevin. The Celtics are playing with a high level of motivation. All-star Jason Tatum says what we talk about before the game, halftime, is win by any cost, by any means. Figure it out, win the game, and build great habits along the way. Kevin? Still room to grow. David, thanks. And there's the call. It's going to be an illegal screen. 
And not the most common call you'll see in the NBA, but hard to argue that pick wasn't illegal. Yeah, you know, the officials aren't nearly as lenient as they used to be on that call. As a matter of fact, I know I got away with a lot of those in my playing days, but that was 40 years ago. Al Horford has checked in for the Celtics. Shot clock at five. To the middle. Emphatic finish by Tatum. Terrific find that time by Holiday. You get open. Drew will get it to you. And Dallas calls their first time out of the game. One of the stories here, Jason Tatum getting it done today. And he's on fire from beyond the arc there. It's time to start shaping their game plan around stopping this long-range assault. He's checked in for Boston. And the Mavericks making a change here. Doncic, tight defense on him. Hardaway with a wide open look. Good. And the assist goes to Doncic. Doncic has got five assists tonight. Here's Pritchard. Taking a look at his stats, he's averaging around nine and a half points a game. Brown, no good. You know, even though they have the lead, you can tell he's frustrated with himself that he's not doing more. They now take the lead. Hardaway has got five points now in the quarter. Tip your hat to Hardaway Jr. there, guys. I mean, even in the face of aggressive defense, he stays focused and delivers. Tatum kicks to Horford. Nice ball movement by Boston. Tatum draws the double. Holiday with the three. Score the bucket. He's made five so far, shooting a very clean five of seven. It's been this way since halftime. Tremendous production from beyond the arc. Boy, it's been a three-point barrage. They came out gunning and have not stopped. Hardaway passes to Lively. Down to five on the shot clock. Near the three-point line, it's Doncic. And the Mavericks getting another bucket right there. The guard attributes on display there. Luka with one of the quicker releases you'll see in the game. Holiday against Hardaway. Holiday, the pass to Tatum. For three. And again, Boston with the triple. Jason Tatum scores, but also creates for his teammates a sign of his continuing growth as a player. A crossover. That's him, and the Celtic lead is cut down to one on the bucket from Doncic. That's the kind of aggressive and assertive play they need as we get closer and closer to crunch time. Holiday finds Brown. It's rebounded by Dallas. Doncic has got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. To the paint. 
And it goes out of bounds. That one's off Holiday. And let's use this break to bring up the top scoring teams in the league so far this season. These are the real stats, real scores from the real NBA. The Celtics second. And how about the year they've had offensively? This is a team that can put points on the board in a hurry. Always fun to watch them play. And the Celtics making a change here. Tillman's checked in. The Mavericks also with a sub. Kleba's checked in. Doncic, because he's so skilled and so savvy, he does a nice job forcing the defense into tough spots when they're guarding. Yeah, way to play in attack mode and get to the line. And, you know, the defense gets their money's worth on that foul, stopping the layup and not giving up the and one. That free throw good from Doncic. Free throws good from Doncic. And his work at the free throw line has been terrific tonight, making the most of his chances. Round kicks to Tatum. Outside, Horford. Good, and it's Tatum picking up the assist. Tatum's got his fifth assist in this one. And so Doncic will bring it up for the Mavericks. Left to the wing. The shot by Kleba. Wide open. Drills the three-pointer. Kleba's got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. Tatum way outside. And that shot was up in time, but doesn't go in. It's been all about Luka Doncic for the Mavericks. They put together quite a quarter. 13 points in all. And he looks to be planning for more. We'll get right back to the action when we return. A chance now to hear Jason Kidd talking to his team moments ago. What possession at a time. No offensive rebound. Can help and talk to each other on defense. Defensive rebounding, a big emphasis for Coach Jason Kidd and something he'll obviously continue to harp on. Well, I mean, that's the thing. If you start giving it up on the offensive glass, very few good things are going to happen to your team, and, and that becomes really deflating. And with these teams locked in a very close contest, this fourth quarter promises to be a good one. On the floor for Dallas starting the fourth quarter here. The star backcourt of Doncic and Irving are out there. Washington out there with Tim Hardaway Jr. And it's Lively in at the five down low. Irving, good. Irving's got 13 points in the second half. Keeping his composure right there. Nice job by Kyrie under duress. Here's Pritchard. Pass to Tatum. Here's Hauser. Let's it go from deep. Good, and it's Tatum picking up the assist. Tatum's got six assists in the game. Confident and composed on the three-point shot at a critical juncture. Outside Irving. Here's Doncic. Rebound by the Celtics. Horford's got five rebounds tonight. Here's Tatum. Oh, Tatum won't be denied. He's certainly been their go-to guy when it matters most. He's trying to close this one out. Irving against Tatum. On the wing, Irving. Passes it to Lively. And that one is stuffed right through. Hey, there's no denying it. Kyrie is a score first guard, but he's a better passer than he gets credit for. Here's Pritchard, guarded by Doncic. And here's Tatum for three. And the Celtics another three. And guys, here in the fourth quarter, still a close game. Instant classic, fellas. This one could come right down to the last shot. And the Mavericks call time here. And 
Dallas Celtics making a change here. Holiday's checked in. The Mavericks also with a sub. Green's checked in. With a short break in the action, gives us a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge. Well, I was able to listen in on what Jason Kidd went over with his team. Now, they've been happy with the way the team is shooting. He reminded players to keep taking those threes, that they've had some clean looks. And when that three goes in, it's always a welcome sight. Guys? Thank you, David. And Hardaway gets it to go. Encouraging to see Hardaway Jr. knock it down from there, proving he can do damage from this area. Holiday dishes to Tatum. Horford with a screen on green. Here's Tatum. And another one falls. Amazing. My goodness. 50 for the eight. Yep, he is putting on a show. Holiday against Hardaway. Fourth quarter keeps moving right along. Three minutes gone so far. Offline with his three. The Celtics have gone an outstanding four or five from the field in the fourth quarter so far. The three from Tatum. And Lively pulls it down. Lively's got six rebounds in the game. Green inside. Tatum on him. Outside Irving. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Irving's got four points now in the quarter. Irving so good and crafty at being able to get things done with the high percentage shot inside. Out of bounds. Dallas takes possession. Celtics making a switch here. Hauser's checked in. The Mavericks also with a sub. Jones checked in for Josh Green. Now Irving. Here's Wively. Good and the assist goes to Irving. It's been like this all night for both teams. The offenses having their way. Any lull in the action so far has been short-lived because there have been nothing but buckets in this one. Three-pointer, Horford sinks the triple. No indecisiveness there from Horford. Just a good, quick decision. On the way against Holiday. Outside Irving. That's up a three. Horford with the rebound. And so Holiday will bring it up for the Celtics. Pass to Hauser. The three. Mavericks with the rebound. And even without that three ball dropping for him, the defense should have done more on that last play. It's stolen. And pushing it up. Here's Boston. Look from Holiday. And again, it's Boston converting. Going off himself tonight. Holiday won't do this every night. But if his team needs his scoring, he can provide it. On the wing, Hardaway. Guarded by Holiday. And the pass to Irving. Fires from deep. It's good from long range. Irving's got 38 points. And the D has gotten a little bit laxed here defending the triple. Tatum passes to Pritchard. Here's Hauser. Three-pointer. Cracks in the tray. And an eye for an eye. Both teams working to stretch the floor. Nothing like answering back. One team gets three, you fire three of your own. Boom. Hardaway passes to Lively. Dishes to Irving. In the corner, Hardaway with it. Good, and the assist goes to Irving. Timeout, timeout. Irving's got five assists tonight. This is Hardaway's game. A quick trigger shooter who wants to score as often as possible. Now a timeout called by Boston. Boston, they've gone 7 of 10 shooting the ball since the start of the fourth quarter. Brown finds Tatum. Over Kleba. Rebounded by Gafford. 
Gafford's got six rebounds now in the game. And I wonder what the score would be if they weren't controlling the backboard. It's clearly been their edge, and in a close game like this, you look for every edge you can find. And that's just a great individual play right through the teeth of the defense. Pass to Tatum. Over Kleba. He got it again. Sensational. And he's up to 52 points. Yeah, making a GA look all too easy right now. Doncic passes to Irving. Holiday against Doncic. Kleba sets the screen for Doncic. To the left wing. The tray. A shot. No good. Austin's gone 4-7 with the long ball here in the fourth quarter. And the dunk by Tatum. And Tatum has been in these situations before. He's reliable when it comes to stepping up in big moments. Doncic against Holiday. Doncic no good. You know, sometimes making it difficult for him to finish at the rim is all you can ask for from the defense. Porzingis kicks to Howard. Around the pass to Tatum. White left side. Back to Tatum. Six to shoot. And slam dunk by Tatum. Very capable as a point guard is Derek White, showing off his playmaking skills there. Average trail by three. Outside Irving. Pass to Doncic. For the three. Rebounded by the Celtics. They've held a 12-point lead early. And White kicks to Holland. Outside Tatum. Pass to Brown. Back to Tatum. Pocket six. Beyond the arc. Rebounded by Hardaway. Dallas has gone beyond the arc seven times here in the fourth and been successful three times. Irving double team. And he's going up for the alley -oop. And Gafford throws it down. Luke is so smart to get other guys involved in the action. Very good at not forcing it and trying to do everything himself. And Tatum puts up a deep three. They get it back. For Zingas. And there are the Celtics with another basket. Knowing his team needs a hoop. Rosinga says, I'll get it done. Holiday against Doncic. Inside. And a look down how the offensive approach has been going here so far for the Celtics. Well, I think they've been lethal from beyond the arc this game, no doubt about it. Hard to defend such spot-on shooting. And another stat that they've excelled at is points off assists. They're moving the ball around and creating great looks for one another. Tatum against Kleba. Leaner from distance. It's rebounded by Doncic. That was just an off-balance, low-percentage shot, especially with no room to operate. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. A well-practiced shooter like Doncic should have this down cold. But we'll have to wait and see if he does. And so making both free throws, that'll give them the lead here. He's basically automatic from the line. Not the guy you want to send there now. Tatum taking it in. No good from the left block. And so it's Doncic with it. He brings it up for Dallas. For the screen on Perzingis. Jedge passes to Irving. Hardaway for three. Knocks down the three. And you can't get a bigger bucket than that. Well, that was one-two. He wanted the ball. Nobody else was taking that shot. Now a timeout called by Boston. They're behind by four. 35 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Brown against Hardaway. To stop the run and oh boy a lot of contact there but he gets the call and will shoot two and they need a profitable trip here and luckily brown looks to be in the zone and the second of two is good that narrows the lead down to just three he gets them to within one possession but that miss puts a lot of pressure on their defense 
And here are the Mavericks now. Shot clock and game clock separated by less than six seconds. On Jedge passes to Irving. Brown against Hardaway. And no good that time. Some solid defense from Brown. Now a timeout called by Boston. They're down by three. Nine seconds left in the fourth. What do you think, guys? And if you can get a three, shoot it. Otherwise, get the quick two and a foul. Either way, they got to score the ball. And that's just terrific positioning on his part to get that board. I mean, he might not have the size, but his basketball IQ and feel is off the charts. So the first one drops, and that gives them a four-point cushion. There's a calm to Kyrie's game. That should help him right now. Good composure from the line there. Those shots sealed. And so it's Dallas winning this one. A truly gutsy performance.